good morning to all of you uh, today we are going to discuss about character arrays and strings now uh, what do you mean by a string or how do we initialize how do we represent any particular string in, in using an array so basically a string is a sequence of characters that is treated as a single data items and uh, terminated by null character slash zero now uh, if you want to declare any particular string or name or if you want to define some particular string like this om prakash okay so in this case we can easily define the string using such kind of declaration we will use character array and we will give the name to this particular array as name so character name now the size is again as we have told earlier it may be optional so if you don't want to give if you don't know in prior that what is the size of string then you can just put it blank like this so character name then square brackets you can mention the size or you can just uh, put it blank then uh, whatever name you want to write you can declare it under double inverted commas terminated with semicolon so in this way we can initialize a string so string basically is a character array now every string is terminated by null character so as you can see here this particular string can also be defined like this name 10 character name 10 is equals to o m p r a k a s h all are uh, under single rounded commas and separated by comma and at last we have explicitly defined null character slash zero so this is another valid identity uh, initialization of a particular string so this particular string contains 10 characters along uh, 9 characters along with null character slash zero so c language does not support strings as a data type so obviously we have to initialize the string as a character array so a string is actually one dimensional array of characters in c language now how to read and write arrays so along with uh, uh, besides with, with besides printf and scanf that we used to define the character uh, that we used to define uh, strings earlier we can also use get s and put s function so what is the purpose of get s function get s function and put s function both are declared in the header file stdio.h these two are the library functions get s and put s and for that we have to include the header file string.h uh, we have to uh, include stdio.h both the functions are involved in input output operations of the string so how get s function can be used a get s function enables the user to enter some characters followed by the enter key so you can directly put get s function you can directly use get s, get s function and you can input some characters followed by enter key okay so as soon as we define a particular string with the help of get s function it will be uh, the null character will be appended at the end to make it a string so get s function also allows the user to enter the space separated strings so space is also a special character so we can use get s function to allow the user to enter the space separated strings so suppose i want to give my name om prakash barapatre so i can write om prakash then space barapatre and uh, i can use get as function for this for example this is the example we have declared a character array in declared a character array as 30 30 is the size of the string then printf enter the string then we have uh, given the string like this get s s so we can input guess get s we can input the string using this character array s and similarly put s 
putus is used to define the uh, used to print the string that we have entered using get s so this can be used to output the string separated uh, char character array string separated uh, space separated character array space separated string so get s and put s are, are the two, fu two functions that are stored within stdio.h and they can be used to input and output the string along with the space separate uh, string separate uh, space separated strings 